Many actors have found themselves in the category of the chosen ones as a result of their participation in a successful film. They began to receive millions of dollars as a result of their involvement in the filming. Sometimes they stayed at the top for years, and sometimes, like Vince Vaughn, they fell off quickly. His rise in his career was not very fast. But in the late 2000s he became one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. But he could not stay there. In just a couple of years, he went from tens of millions of dollars worth of movies to low-budget streaming movies. This issue is about Vince Vaughn's career. The breakthrough for Vince was Swingers. With a budget of only $200,000, the film grossed $4 million at the USA box office and received many nominations to various film festivals. The movie was co-starring with Vince in the screenplay written by John Favreau. It also started the career of the young director Doug Lyman who will direct Go, The Born Identity, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and American Maid. In the USA Swingers became quite a cult film, director Steven Spielberg noticed Vince Vaughn, who invited him to one of the leading roles in The Lost World, and the movie became a big hit at the box office, though not the same as the first part. After that many noticed Vince and he began to get roles in other Hollywood projects. That's just no luck actor and when signed up for another movie such a movie waiting for failure. When an actor chooses a project where he was preparing the role of the second plan these projects have also remained unnoticed. Only the film Psycho was watched and he was even granted an award in the form of a golden raspberry. Changing the situation was supposed to be The Cell starring Jennifer Lopez, but the film failed at the box office. Even in this country, the film garnered positive reviews and was nominated for multiple prizes. The film Domestic Disturbance is known for a fight involving Vince Vaughn, Steve Buscemi, and the film's producer. Buscemi, who was stabbed several times, was the hardest hit in a bar fight after filming with the locals. The press wrote that the blow came to the neck and head, and his condition was assessed as critical, but a week later, the actor returned to the set. Such publicity did not help the film, it also failed at the box office, and John Travolta even received a nomination for Golden Raspberry as the worst actor. After that, Vaughn began to shine in films coming out directly on the video, but another cult comedy old school came out revealing Vince's strong qualities. The actor was seen to have comedic talent. With a budget of $25 million, the film earned $87 million at the box office. Luke Wilson, Will Ferrell, and Vince Vaughn immediately drew attention and many offers poured in. Although Vaughn was still not considered a star, he did not get the role in Stursky and Hutch movie. Initially, the role of Hutch was planned just for Vince Vaughn, but the studio didn't want to spend $60 million a film starring not very popular actors and decided to call for the role of Owen Wilson. But about Vince they didn't forget and called him up for the leading role in Dodgeball with the same Ben Stiller. Dodgeball became a big success. With a budget of $20 million, the movie grossed $167 million an order of magnitude more successful than Starsky and Hutch. In 2005, Vaughn starred in three films at once. In one of them, he was called up for a supporting role by Doug Lyman. The second was a sequel to Be Cool Well, the third is a comedy wedding crashers. Few believed in this project, and the central role refused Will Ferrell. But because of his friendship with Vaughn, he agreed to a minor role. The studio was so afraid of criticism that they gave up many ideas during filming and cut some scenes in post-production. Some footage was cut under pressure from Congress. On a budget of $40 million, the comedy grossed $285 million. After this success, Vince became a superstar. Already for his next film, Breakup, he received $12 million. At this point, Vaughn began to get fat. He would later say that the role in the film required this. Although the audience ratings for the breakup are pretty low, the film earned $205 million. At the box office and Vince's royalties continued to grow. For the role in the movie Fred Claus, he asked 20 million, and here was the first big failure of the actor. 100 million films ultimately failed at the box office, not even 100 million at the worldwide box office. But Vince did not think to stop, and for his following works, couples retreating for Christmas Ash received 15 million each. 
These pictures cannot be called failures in time with the release on DVD, they made minimal profits. Maybe this fact allowed Vince to get such a hefty fee one more time. In 2011, the film Dilemma was released for his role in this film, and the actor received 17 million. The film had a huge budget of $17 million released along with no strings attached. As history shows, Dilemma did not stand a chance against Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher. The film could only grow $69 million while the Portman comedy grossed $150 million on a budget of $25 million. After that, Bond wanted to repeat the success of his old hits. And to do so, he starred in films with actors with whom he had already achieved success before. But all his new work failed. With Ben Stiller, who also experienced difficult times, he starred in the comedy. The watch and the tape at the box office failed. It was followed by 70 millionth internship with Owen Wilson. Delivery Man and Unfinished Business were the ultimate blow to his career. Realizing where his career was headed, Vince Vaughn decided to star in the second season of the television series True Detective. Many believe that the first season of the series revived Matthew Career, and a similar was expected from the second season. But of course, this did not happen. The second season of The Detective was worse. Ratings were lower and estimates of viewers. After True Detective even starred in the movies released on video and rated 4 out of 10. Sometimes the actor was lucky enough to get into supporting roles in such films as Shaksa Ridge and Dragged Across Concrete. However, the actor is increasingly appearing in films like If Bing and Dark and Sass. The foreseeable future is not expected from Vince's significant projects. In general, at the peak of his career, the actor made his choice in the direction of significant fees rather than creativity, which naturally led him to the current state of affairs.